I'm just enjoying my morning coffee and breakfast. This view? Yeah, I know. It's pretty great. You get used to it though, but let me tell you about it. So where we are right now is the Finnish archipelago. Archipelago stands for collection of islands and coastlines outside of the mainland. And as you can see, that description is pretty accurate. Where we are more specifically is an island called Atto. Now like many islands here, this island is actually connected to the mainland with a bridge. Of course, bridges aren't the only way you can get around here, since they can't be built everywhere, except if you ask the Danish. Some other ways to get around here are ferries, which carry cars and other pedestrian vehicles. Most of these ferries are actually suspended over the sea with metal cables, but not all of them. Definitely the best way to get around here is by boat, since we have a lot of coastlines and docks. And even though most of the docks are private, we have some public ones too. And, if you know which strings to pull, the locals might even let you dock at their private dock and invite you in for a cup of coffee. The Finnish archipelago is known for the many benefits it has to give to its people. Fishing, hunting and farming have played a vital role in the archipelago. Hills, beaches and kilometers of forest cover the landscape of Finland. But us living in the north comes with some downsides, like the unpredictable weather. On the other hand, the unpredictable weather could be great for some adventures. Hey, glad you could join me for this ride. Right now we are driving along the famous Ringwagen or Rengastia. It's a road that basically goes through the entirety of the archipelago. Its beauty is that there are countless bed and breakfasts, restaurants and places to stay at along the way. So the adventures are basically endless. You could for example start your day by taking a bike trip to one of the many locations overseeing the archipelago. And after that you could take a run on one of our famous trails. If you're looking for some more adrenaline, then renting a jet ski or boat is just one phone call away and can be arranged in minutes. Now that we're getting closer to our cottage, one of the most stressful things is driving on these extremely tight roads. I doubt there will be any cars approaching us, but you never know, so you've got to be careful. I want to show you the cottage I'm staying at, because it's a perfect example of classic Finnish architecture. and. If you're going to be staying here, and when you're going to be staying here, you're most likely going to be staying in a place very similar. So, come on, I'll show you inside. When we take a look at the interior, we immediately notice it has a lot of accents of the surrounding nature and culture and the sea. For example, these hunting trophies right here, or parts of boats you can find around it, or just small things that remind you of the culture that surrounds the archipelago. However, with Finland being one of the leading countries in technology and development, if something more modern is what you're looking for, then you won't have any problem finding that here either. Ugh. Ugh. There's nothing better than going for a swim and jumping straight into the warm sauna. The archipelago and sauna just go hand in hand. And when you're visiting, you'll also find that out for yourself. It's going to be harder to find a place that doesn't offer sauna services than one that does. There are two types of saunas, classic fireplace saunas and electric ones. But a lot of people aren't very keen on the electric ones, since they say the classic feeling of the fireplace is much better, much warmer and just overall a greater experience. One thing about us Finns is that we take tradition very seriously, which is also important to keep in mind when you're visiting. 
We have a lot of rituals and events based on our nature and old beliefs. Like Midsummer, which is when we celebrate the longest day of the year by burning a bonfire. A pretty good pastime here is driving a motorboat. You can either rent one or you can buy one, depending on your budget. The thing is, it's pretty loud out here in the sea. Uh, this is a bit better. Right now, this feels like the most peaceful place in the world. But things haven't always been like that. During the 12th and 13th century, the Finnish archipelago was used as an outpost to guard the Swedish capital of Stockholm and the Finnish capital of Turku. When a war broke out, called the War of Finland, which was a war about who owns this territory, between Russia and Sweden, uh, the residents got mad. Together with a Swedish army, the residents took back the area of the archipelago from Russia. This, however, resulted in an internal fight for power. There is a reason why they call Finland the land of the sun that never sets. Our open fire summer nights are definitely some of the most magical evenings you'll ever experience. And sitting around a fire isn't just a tradition to have fun and socialize and eat. We actually used open fires to communicate from island to island back in the days. The way that we used it was if one island saw a boat coming, they would light a fire and that signal would be transferred to the next island who would also light their fire, which would be transferred to the next and to the next. And as you can imagine, the speed at which the light or the signal, the fire travels, is greater than that at which the incoming danger or boat travels. Back to tonight, where tonight I'm not in any danger, I'm just enjoying my food and a cold beer. Cheers. Wait, I'm just sitting here taking in the atmosphere and I gotta tell you, this is honestly the best part after every long and eventful day. Listening to the birds of the night and the sound of the ocean. I could sit here for hours, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to start the next day, which will most likely bring even more adventures. So I'm gonna go to sleep now, but I tell you, you gotta experience this for yourself.